Hello everybody, welcome to this round of 32 matchup between Zerpils, who won his group, and Ratamo, who finished runner-up in his. This is game number one to see, you know, what happens. Uh, everyone's equal here. If they uh, win the first, there will be two games, whatever happens. If uh, a win and a draw, we'll see one person advance. If it's even after two games, then they'll play a third. And uh, obviously the favourite is Zerpils. Not only did he win his group, he also has... Uh, real team Skaven and uh, Ratamo has a joke team Imperial Ability, so it's uh, gonna be It's gonna be a test for him. I can tell you. I mean he made he did make the second round though So fair play Ratamo is finished and qualified through rock paper scissors and Zerpils is is German but play, lives in Austria and qualified on the PlayStation. We've got a PlayStation Pro here qualified from B&T Road to the World Championship so here we go let's see what happens um, Ratamo won the toss, chose to kick bad habits some players get loner, we can't see what they are but it's a 2 plus loner so it doesn't matter too much instant dub skulls there for Zerpils um, Zerpils has given up the skill on the second Storm Vermin he's only taken uh, and he's also taken sprint rather than sidestep so Somewhat different to uh, the normal skating build that he has sprint rather than sidestep. And he's still got the leader and the apple, so he's still got three rerolls. <laughs> no, that's, that looks bad, Calcium, you're just randomly saying that. But, you know, if people know the history, Calcium's not as bad as he seems from that sentence. <laughs> Yeah, so that's off meta. It's, it's it's very slightly, right? The Skaven's only very slightly. They've still got Juggernaut, they've still got Guard, they've still got Leader, they've still got Wrestle, Straight Block. They've just got um, Sprints at a sidestep, and they've dropped the Mighty Blow, or Guard, or Tackle, whatever, off the blitz. So you've got to drop one skill um, for Skaven. However, Ratamo doesn't have an Ogre, which is a very strange thing to not have. And he's got four, only four guard. He's got mighty blow on a blitzer and tackle on a blitzer, so no, no dodge on either blitzer. He's got sure hands on the, on the uh, thrower and a dirty player. So yeah, very unusual team for Ratamo. Well, so it, the thing about trolls. Could be bad for ogres, right? F for ogres for orcs because orcs are a good team that can win without a troll. However, <laughs> imperial nobility are a bad team that can't win without an ogre. <laughs> now, that's obviously not true. That's a simplification because obviously Ratamo did win and he did get through to the round of 32. But that's basically why I like ogres for ability and not for not trolls for orcs because a big guy adds like variance right it adds a high roll and a low roll and orcs mid roll is really good but imperial ability is bad so they, they want to uh they want to you know increase how lucky they can get at the risk of sometimes being unlucky Probably should have put in the other assist No, I won't Does get the KO in though. Until I'm victorious. And <laughs> I will defend. <laughs> he fails the, fails the argue and gets thrown out. Um, but, you know, that might stop the one turn if it stays KO'd. And maybe he defends the drive, right? Maybe he defends the drive. And maybe it stays KO'd and maybe that's out for the whole game. Uh, thank you very much, Winter Mute. Absolutely glorious. Welcome to Team Fantastic. That mighty blow is real bad, though, isn't it? Oh, yes, Zerpils just scores and the Roger comes back. But, you know. <laughs> like, if Zerpil scores, he's got two chances of it to come back for the second half, and then if Ratnamore stalls it out. Zerpil still has a chance. He's got three chances, probably, to get it for the one turn. But, you know, 
with with the nobility being the underdogs here, you do have to plan for success a bit more, right? Normally, I'm thinking about failure and hedging failure states and like trying to make sure things are as least bad as they can possibly be. But um, with nobility, you almost don't have that luxury, right? Because to win, you have to get lucky. So you're having to like do things where if this works, it's good. And if it doesn't work, it's terrible. I mean, at least in this match, at least they're just like a normal team, right? They're just a normal bash team. Um, that can do things and bash a little bit. I mean, big units are pretty bad, right? But you, you need it on... Lizard men because you've got six strong boys, so it's another strong boy, and you kind of need it on Imperial Nobility because it gives you something. It gives you a chance. It gives you a chance to get lucky. Yeah, there's knobs. You're just thinking, ooh, this is a nice little chain. Okay. He doesn't get the knockdown, but he's gonna get two dice on the ball. No, it's not, it's only one dice on the ball. Ah, oh, he needed the power, didn't he? Yeah, Bretonians with two boots is a four. I mean, dice in the ball is okay. The problem is, even if you power him, he just picks it up with a gutter next turn anyway. Not wasn't really worth re-rolling it. Are the are the rings good on both teams? I don't know. It looks weird having them on one team, but I think like knobs need them. Yeah, the prob the follow up there was. Uh, not good. And he's off. And he's cast. He's basically dead. Ouch. Oh, and he appled it. He appled it for the 37.5%. And failed. He gets the power there, which gets him the blitz, which he kind of needed. And he gets the power, which he kind of needed, so... Um, yeah, that was... A pretty dicey turn, honestly, for Zirkles there. He needed some... He needed some things to work well. But uh, everything worked for him, and didn't really work for Ratmo. And he did, he did allow his guy to get served. And, uh, yeah, both. I mean, only one's one's only KO'd. But yeah, the uh, the apple and the serious injury. It's tough, isn't it? Thirty-seven and a half percent to work, but it is his tackler, so. Feels bad to lose that versus Rats. No, nope, there's another Kaz. And the Apple's gone, and that's a guard around. Oh dear. Well, the good thing is, the good thing is for, Z for Ratamo, this is a best of two and a half. This is a best of two and a half. So, um, <laughs> while this does look a little bit over already, there are, there is going to be another game played, whatever happens, and there could be a third game, and uh, yeah. And it's not over yet. It's not over yet, but... <laughs> yeah. 
It's funny how the it was uh, it was Nabola, wasn't it, that made a million cas in the group stage. But now Zerpels has made a few this game. Wow. And uh, no, your player's just like frozen. Your team is like frozen, right? And then it resurrects after every game. It just uh, it just stays as it is forever. Unfortunately for Ratimo, that means he can't change it to a <laughs> he can't just change it to a necromantic team or <laughs> or dark elves or, <laughs> or anything like that. He is he is stuck with imperial ability for the rest of the tournament. Um, however long it is. Wolf. Wolf relying on the gutter dodges. I've got to say, Zerpels has rolled some dice this game. Um, especially to say, you know, he's only been down his roller, he, he's removed loads himself. Maybe he could have been a bit tighter this game, but of course, you don't know um, what the circumstances are of everything, right? He could have been super tired or nervous or, you know cocky or anything right so but seems like he's been a little bit lax thus far um, yeah. oh there's a death dead 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 three dice here. That's nice to see. People don't always make three dices, but they should, right? There's no reason for that not to be a three dice, right? That should always be a three dice there. And it might have been the third dice that got the knockdown and got the Kaz. So there you go. Perfect play on turn eight by Zerpils and he's only down one Lino and he got his Roger back so <laughs> oh my god oh my god okay I kind of didn't realize how bad it was for the knobs but this is really bad <laughs> they failed both of their KOs Oh dear. I mean, things can happen. Things can happen. <laughs> like another one could die. <laughs> okay, he didn't. Only one more, so he's got seven. Seven knobs. Three guards. A sure hands player. So you know, having a sure hands player versus Skaven is okay, but when you've got seven <laughs> players, it's not okay. <laughs> <laughs> oh dear. So yeah, the, the sure hands is sadly going to be somewhat irrelevant when the Skaven have got an extra four players and can do whatever they want. <laughs> yes, calcium. I mean, basically, it's. But look, J Leaf did an incredible job with All World Alliance, right? In the uh, in the first game of well, the first two games of the uh, of the final phase. Oh dear, double one's the pickup. Oh god. Oh god. <laughs> um yes, uh, conceding is not allowed in the uh in the World Cup. <laughs> it's true. So um yeah, I mean, the good thing for Ratamo is he's going to get two more games. Well, not, not two more games. Another game after this. 
<laughs> Whatever happens, he's going to get another game after this, and he might get two more games. So this is making the format look quite good, isn't it? Wow, all the rushes, and the pickup, and the handoff. I mean, <laughs> it depends how bad his dice are. Oh my god, he's out of re-rolls instantly. <laughs> he rolled a pal, though. <laughs> and he made a cast. <laughs> well, I mean, like... His team isn't as bad as this, right? Do you know what I mean? Like, this game, he's almost certainly going to lose. But, like, at the start of the game, maybe he was, like, you know, 40% to win or 35% to win or something. So, he's still got, you know, if he wins the next game, he's still got a chance. Despite this being, like, a 1 in a, you know, 1 in 20, whatever, how bad dicing this is. You know, the dice have been shocking for him, but... But like I don't think he you know, I think he's I think he's the underdog with normal dice. You know. I think he's the underdog with normal dice, but these have not been normal dice. So whatever you think about whatever your opinions on knobs and uh Skaven uh, you know, when it comes to the dice this was still this was still kind of unfair. But a rush there, like, still? Still taking chances here, Zerpels. A little bit, a little bit risque. Makes the pick up. Scores a touchdown. And that's it, 2-0. And now, we can almost say it's over at 2-0. I mean, it might end up 4 0. <laughs> but, <laughs> but at 2 0, it's. Uh, we can say it's over. Well, technically not. Okay, he's got blitzed. <laughs> technically not. But he's been blitzed. <laughs> Flippin' Skaven. Absolutely disgusting. Touchdown difference does not matter, no. It's purely the result of the games. It's purely the result. Uh, a 1-0 win is just the same as a 6-0. So... He has nothing to fear, like, you know, he can still try things, right? He can still make crazy plays to try and win, right? Like, honestly, what he, what he probably should have done this turn was, like, um, pick it up with him and pass it to that guy who then, like, dodges through to score because... Yes, it's ludicrous, but it gives you a chance, right? Like, and it doesn't matter if it, if it leads to an, another touchdown. Like, like he doesn't have to play to try and only lose two 0 do, you know do you know what I mean? Like, he can he can go all out to try and make this two two. He doesn't have to just try and limit the touchdowns again. Yeah. If touchdown difference mattered. This would be horrendous. In fact, if touchdown difference mattered in this phase, everybody would be using, like, rats and, and elves, right? Because the chance of this happening and you just winning this by, like, you know, 3-0, wait, 4, you could win 5-0. <laughs> so, yeah, just, like, literally everybody would be using... Skaven or elves just for the chance of dicing somebody, removing their team and then just, you know, stick and stick and fire past them. I think Nabolo won one game like six one in the group stage. Yeah.
Oh, Nabola won 5 1 in the group stage versus Dragu because he just slaughtered his team. Um, and yeah, like, you know, Skaven do that more reliably than Elves, right? Because Skaven. Skaven have like generally have a Light and Blood Blitzer and a Right Augur, so and they can foul. So they they can just they can get ahead of and a guard, right? So that they can get ahead of people more than elves can. So <laughs> Another removal. Oh I hate this. Put him in scoring range! <laughs> what are you playing at? Go for 5-0. <laughs> Put this guy there. Come on. Come on. Yeah. No, I mean, it's, it's over now, isn't it? 3-0. You can watch the rest of the... Um... Yeah, Olivier slaughtered somebody, didn't he? I remember that game, yeah. But it is, it is less likely, right? It's definitely more likely that the frenzy dude... Uh, who's like really active makes more removals than the tree who's movement 2 that you can just walk away from but yeah Olivier's tree was pretty good when the Proyles were like trying to fight him right yeah right <laughs> get right rats are pretty annoying whatever happens Okay, sensible, no rerolls. Honestly, I'm I'm not gonna lie, if I was if I was Zerples here, I'd totally go for five I'd have totally gone for five mil. <laughs> I couldn't have helped myself. <laughs> oh dear. Just go for complete go for complete mental warfare for the uh, game too. <laughs> <laughs> I mean Chunder goes for as many as possible he fireballed his own gutter runner when he was winning 3-0 so he could get a fourth <laughs> which is just about the craziest thing I've seen after seeing a lot of crazy things in Blood Bowl. That's one of the craziest. Oh, well. It's kind of going easy on him now, isn't he? Oh, that's nice. Nice to see sportsmanship. Happy with a 3 now. Another Kaz. Why not? Jimmy, zero Kaz in uh, three games. <laughs> Circles. Four Kaz in one game. Yeah, <laughs> Jake Pomo. <laughs> Don't knock him out. He's, he's 58. Have pity. Let him score one. This probably is a good thing, actually, honestly. Uh, so, what you want to do is not let him know how you play as well. Uh, there's an element of that, right? Because you don't want to give information away on your playstyle and stuff, so maybe. <laughs> Maybe it's better to go easy on him and uh, let him score. <laughs> like, you know, tendencies. Don't want to give away your tendencies. Zone, and he's got a thrower there. He is out of re-rolls. 
gets the p pick up. P -p 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 pick up. Fails the pass into the crowd. <laughs> and back to there. So what he powers him and then Oh my god, can this good runner reach the other one? No, oh, he's already punched him. So he'd have to just does he long bomb it? Has he got to go to this one? Gotta go out oh my god, he makes it, he catches it. <laughs> oh well. There you go. Zerpils beats Ratamol 4 0. Absolute ridiculous. I mean, a ridiculous dicing, right? Like, you see dice like this, maybe it's 1 in 20 games, maybe more. I've got no idea, but it was a ludicrous dicing. But the great thing is, with this format, like, you know, and look, maybe Zerbals would have won anyway, right? Maybe Zerbals would have won anyway. Not taking anything away from how he played or anything. But, um, the great thing about this format is, next game, Ratamore's got a. Got, you know, got a new start. He does have to win the game. A draw won't be enough. But if he if he wins the game, even one nil, then they'll play a third deciding match. So there you go. For the moment, congratulations to Zerpils. Commiserations to Ratamol. Thanks for watching, everybody. Don't forget to leave a like and subscribe, and stay fantastic.